When a hiker detected an ominous noise emanating from a tree deep within the forest, they promptly reached out to the authorities. Upon inspection of the hollowed recess within the tree trunk, the officers were utterly astounded. Jerry Cooper, an occasional hiker, stumbled upon something highly unusual during a summer evening stroll. In the wilderness, where encounters with odd sights and eerie sounds were not uncommon due to the abundant wildlife, Jerry's familiarity with the area instilled a sense of confidence. However, he remained vigilant, well aware of the stories circulating about bizarre sightings and potentially perilous animal encounters in these woods. So, you can imagine the jolt of apprehension that coursed through him when he encountered something unsettling. On an otherwise typical summer afternoon, Jerry had plans to meet friends for a hiking expedition that unfortunately fell through at the last minute. Undaunted, Jerry decided to embark on the hike independently. He loathed the idea of staying confined indoors, especially on such a delightful evening. Packing his essentials, he headed for his cherished trail, knowing he could complete the circuit and return home before nightfall. The prospect of being in the woods after sunset was something he wished to avoid at all costs, and he wasted no time setting out. The hike initially proved more demanding than usual, which he attributed to the fatigue from a long day at work. Breathing in the invigorating wilderness air, he relished the freedom of being outdoors. However, just 20 minutes into his hike, he was jolted by a sound he had never before encountered, one that sent shivers down his spine, a peculiar blend of grunting and whining echoing from the distance. When he looked ahead, all he could see were the big, old trees sighing in the wind. He made a point of being more vigilant just in case something was tracking him. However, as he progressed on his hike, things only got worse. The eerie echo of the strange sound grew louder and louder. This indicated that whatever it was, it was stationary, and Jerry was moving closer to it. Yet when he looked around, there was nothing to be seen. He was truly dumbfounded by the situation. Then, the sound suddenly stopped, and Jerry began to relax a bit, relieved that the threat seemed to have passed how wrong he turned out to be. He had just passed a big old oak tree when the sound came again, but this time it felt like it was right on top of him. He spun around, looking for the source, but there was still nothing to be seen. He tried to slow his breathing and began to figure out how to get home as soon as possible. It was while he was checking his surroundings that he noticed something he hadn't seen before. The big oak tree he had just passed had a massive alcove in it. This wasn't unusual for these old trees, but there was something about it that struck Jerry. He couldn't help but feel that there was something special about this alcove. He slowly approached it, cautious and ready for something to jump out at him, but danger never came. Only the horrid grunting and whining sounds that had echoed throughout his hike seemed to come from that hole. It was a horrendous sound, and Jerry couldn't help but be filled with dread. Being the sensible person he was, he decided to call the authorities. It was evident that whatever was in there was in desperate need of help, and the authorities would be more prepared than him. When the authorities arrived on the scene, Jerry was waiting to meet them at the edge of the woods. He wanted to take them right to the source of the noise so that they could assist with whatever it was. He too was quite curious about what it might be. Two members of animal control had come out to assist. They didn't quite seem to believe Jerry at first about the horrid sound coming from the tree, but that soon changed. The echo of the grunting and whining was audible almost from the start of their hike towards the oak tree. The men were just as puzzled as Jerry about what it could possibly be and noticeably tensed up as they got closer. When they arrived at the oak tree, the sun was just starting to set in the woods. Luckily, they had brought adequate lighting with them. Jerry stood a healthy distance away from the tree waiting to see what the officers found. The two men approached with caution, slowly flanking the hole in the tree from either side. One man shone a bright torch down into the depths of the alcove, attempting to locate the source of the noise. It would also help to temporarily blind whatever was making that sound, just in case it decided to jump out and attack them. They slowly edged forward and peered down into the depths of the hole, encountering a sight they could never have anticipated. Jerry heard one officer gasp in disbelief, while the other exclaimed, No way. He stood tense with anticipation and curiosity, desperately wanting to see what it was to, 
but fear held his feet firmly in place. It was then that one officer turned to Jerry and exclaimed, it's a dog. In shock, Jerry seemed to relax a little. Just a dog? But how? What would a dog be doing all the way out here? It's very unusual. The officer shone the light down the hole again and saw the sweet little face of the medium-sized dog staring back at them. They began to work with a rope to loop it. They would send it down, place the loop gently around the dog's neck and leg, and then heave it up, hoping the dog wasn't too injured. After successfully tying it up, they managed to get the dog to the surface of the tree. Upon immediate inspection, it became apparent that the sweet dog had broken its leg, hence the grunting and whining, in addition to being stuck in a dark, scary hole. No longer afraid, Jerry helped them wrap the dog up in a safety blanket and carry it back to their van. He couldn't help but feel silly for reacting the way he had when he heard the dog in the woods. Due to the deep alcove, the acoustics had made the dog sound a lot more menacing than he actually was. The whole way back, the three men chatted about the bizarre nature of the dog's predicament. One of the officers said he couldn't help but feel that he had seen the dog somewhere else before, but he just couldn't place where. After they had returned to their car, Jerry expressed his heartfelt gratitude to the officers before heading back to his home, feeling truly drained. Over the next week, Jerry couldn't shake thoughts of the distressed dog from his mind. He pondered its well-being and the peculiar circumstances that had led it to that remote location. By the following Thursday, his curiosity had consumed him, prompting him to contact Animal Control to inquire about the pup's status. What Jerry discovered was nothing short of astonishing. The officers were delighted to hear from him and eager to share the remarkable events that had unfolded since their last encounter. It turned out their instincts had been spot on. One of the officers had recognized the dog's picture on a missing pet flyer that a young girl had posted all over town. The girl had been walking her dog when a loud truck had startled him, causing him to bolt into the nearby woods. When she and her father couldn't locate their beloved pet, it seemed as though the dog had vanished without a trace. Fortunately, Jerry's timely hike had coincided with their search. As soon as the officers realized the dog was missing, they contacted the owners and successfully reunited the dog with its ecstatic family. Despite a few injuries, the little girl was overjoyed to have her faithful companion back, and Jerry felt an immense sense of satisfaction for playing a part in their heartwarming reunion. What do you think of this happy ending story? Let us know in the comment section. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.